Hey, good morning. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please like, send me nice comments. Most of all, share my videos with your buddies that have Fords that are running a little bit rough because this is going to work on a lot of different Fords. Um, most of all, subscribe to my page too. Uh, I make a lot of neat little tricks videos about how us mechanics get away with stuff and do it at an affordable rate. And I try to show you how to do stuff that you can do in your driveway mostly. Uh, today we had a 2003 Ford Ranger um, 2.3 that was running a little bit rough, but I'm here to tell you this is probably the same on Rangers, Explorers, Ford F-150s, everything. So you're running bad, you think you need a tune-up, a lot of times it's not a tune-up. Sometimes it is, I mean they have bad spark plugs and coils that go bad, but let's just say you do the simplest basic test. You're going to start your engine up. And when you start your engine up, um, if you hear a little bit of a hissing noise, so it's gonna sound like vacuum, you just spray the back of the engine. Most of the time, the back of the intake in specifically, you know, speaking about, and if that engine revs up, you got an intake leak, all right? Now, on Fords, it's very common for them to use a elbow like this, um, and what happens to them is, I believe that these go down to the DPFE, which is your digital feedback for your uh, EGR system. And they get hot and they melt and they melt holes in them like this. Now somebody had taken um, some duct tape and wrapped it around here. Uh, yeah, I don't advise that. That's kind of not going to even fix the problem really. It's actually going to make it worse because this is going to close off. And if you, if you had this in your hand, it's really squishy and just delaminated and terrible. So on this particular vehicle, I went to the Ford dealership and went to the Ford garage, tried to get the actual right tube. I found these, uh, I was able, a couple weeks ago, I was actually able to buy the actual right tube for a Ford Escape that I had. Then on the back of the intakes, I had the exact same problem. Melted up, gushy, crappy rubber that Ford uses. But you want to replace it with this if at all possible. You can also get an elbow from your uh, parts store. But the problem is, is you got two different size hoses. So that's generally why you can't just repair it with like some hose and whatever else. But this was about 12 bucks, so not a big deal, you know. And then I believe this is a quarter inch gnarl. Um, we're gonna take the two halves. We got, a, we got half of it that's broken right here. You can see where I cut it off. Um, not the best rubber in the world. This one's actually a whole rubber hose. Most of the time these are plastic. Uh, this, this, uh, this elbow will go into a piece of plastic and you just pull it off and put it back on. But, I thought the part number was great, and I'm actually making this for my own memory, so I can order this part number again, because I went to the Ford dealership, and they've told me that they could not sell me just this part. They had to sell me the whole tube, so anyways, it's nice having that part number. Uh, put it on there. Put it back on. I'll bet your Ford runs great. On this particular instance, you're looking for the tube actually hooks up right here next to this nipple right here. There's going to be one that's right there. So we're going to hook the elbow into there and be pretty simple. I don't really need to show you that. Uh, not a big deal at this point. If this video is helpful. Please like, comment, nice ones anyways. Share my videos. Subscribe to my page. I do a lot of awesome stuff. I try to always be as awesome as possible. Don't be the next to them. Be the first to you. And remember, you can't break what's already broken. God bless. Have a great day.